Okay, guys, we're back. We are out of fuel on our uh, main capsule here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some fuel because this is a significantly less powerful engine. And it won't really help us for get re reaching the orbit that we want. But I will wait till we boot, get round to our uh, Apple Apps Assist, which is, it's not decaying. So we'll make our way around there. We'll swing around. And, and I'll quickly do a fuel transfer once we get over there. We've got the epic uh, space beats going, which is great. Just to say that, yeah, well done, mate. You made it into space. Okay, we're on the dark side of the Earth right now, so let's just see if I can work this out. Now, we want to get some fuel from here. So we right-click this one and that one. And we bring in fuel and oxidizer from the main tank. That, that'll do. Let's, let's bring in the about 70 of each. Not bad. Okay, that'll do. And now we need to swing round to Prograde. Who am I kidding? I'm already Prograde. MLG grade. Just kidding. That's really lame. Okay. So we'll just sit it in like that. Okie duck. You're going to sit nice and easy for me. Good on ya. Have we got any lights on here? Can't, can't really see the ship, which is disappointing. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to boost Retrograde in a minute. Not Retrograde, Prograde, sorry. Um... Okay, there we go. We're about there now, so let's readjust to the yellow marker and just burn all of our fuel. And hopefully, this will swing out. Come on. Are we moving? There we go. Let's just burn all the fuel. There we go. Nice. Lovely. So, we've got the periapsis at. 225 and a little bit further on the apoapsis. That's not fine. That's a little bit annoying, but I'm not too fast because I do have enough fuel. So there he is. He's in space. And because we are, you know, professional spacemen, we're going to swing back round to the sunny side of Earth. Kerbin, rather. Okay. And let's just rotate our ship this way. Thank you, Doke. And we're going to go for a spacewalk. So let's get Jebediah out of the vehicle. And let go. Rockets engaged. Oh, yeah. That's why this game is awesome, people. That's why this game is awesome. So, yeah. There he is. Woo! Woo hoo! Woo hoo! <laughs> that face. Oh, you can have nightmares about it. <coughs> right, let's not go too far away because we don't really want to get lost in space. Let's just complete the mission objective and get him home. Because that's the next thing to do. So let's just slow down. Yeah, oh. God, look how small that capsule is. That is punishing. Grab on. Good stuff. And in you go. Right. So, we've done a spacewalk. Um... Now we're just going to swing, swing around the Earth a few times. K Kerbin! It's called Kerbin, you fuckwit. Thanks. Uh, keep forgetting that. Right. Let's just quickly... Oop, shit. Can't do anything while we're in uh, warp. Let's spin round to speed our orbit up just a wee bit. Urgh, come on. All the RCS. And let's just try and get the circular orbit to be perfectly circular around Kerbin. So, okay, we need to get this to 247. All right, 247, 246, 47, 45. So we need to get a little bit more. And 48. Damn it! <laughs> I fucked up again. <laughs> ah, fuck that. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, let's bring the fuel back into the main tank. So from there to there, there to there, bring it all back in, and drop off. Did we stage? Did it work? Did it work? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's come off. Um, <laughs> I'm really worried that it's actually uh, let's decouple manually. All right, there you go. More space debris. That's just gonna float around and do its thing for a while. It's not particularly a problem for us, so. All right, 
let us swing round. A few oh, the ship's throttled up. Oops, the easy. Swing it round. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Eight? I think we're going to do about 11 orbits just because we already did one, so I think we're up to 10 now. Okay, so we'll slow down now. Let's just swing back around to the light side of the Kerbin. Now we need to plan our descent back uh, to Kerbin, the HQ, which is currently... Um, there it is. It's, it's currently night in Kerbin, so what we have to do is wait because that's the only way I know how to do so. Feel free to tell me how I could have done this a better way. But I'm going to swing around until it's a, we've got a daytime approach into Kerbin's home base. Right, so we are on final approach into Kerbin right now. Uh, Kerbal HQ, which we can't exactly zoom in on. So, yeah, now it's up to professional piloting skills to bring us down safely. So let's just line it up. We are going to boost. I've lined up. I had to change the configuration a little bit because uh, uh, when I alt tabbed, the game sort of broke itself and I lost about three minutes of footage. But that's okay. I've just caught it up, and it uh, somehow the, the orbit was different. So I've had to quickly do align it by changing the pink indicators, which allow the orbit to move down just a little bit so that we can land back on top of Kerbal HQ. So. In three minutes, we're going to boost, so let's just skip ahead a couple minutes. Click, 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 click. Let's see how well we... Ooh! Pretty close. Ten seconds remaining. Um, yeah, we're just going to boost and uh, hope that we make it home safe and sound. So, let's boost. Let's boost about that. Hopefully we have 30 seconds of fuel on board. I think we do, so that shouldn't be a problem. And hopefully we're going to get this exactly like the one on what we're trying to get is. So I'm trying to get a good view for this because it's it's going to be difficult because the orbit will start to decay about here. So I need to overrun it. I have to overshoot it just a little bit. Otherwise it will uh, be a catastrophic failure. So... Let's uh, bring it in until it. Four, three, okay. Let's leave it there. That's a big overshoot at the moment, but it won't be too bad. So we'll leave that. We'll get rid of the maneuver. And we'll swing around. And hopefully the orbit will decay just in time for our landing. And it'll be really pro. So let's swing it round to. Oopsie daisy. We've got to swing around to prograde for re entry just because it will look cooler and not quite so newbie. Alright. Swing that around. Oh, yeah, what an awesome spectacle. Sunrise over the top of the earth. It's just, it's just such a cool game. I mean, come on, look at that. Screenshot mode. Look at that shit. How can anybody look at this game and say, oh, it's crap? Look at it. The graphics are shit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyway. Okay, well, so we're swinging around. Um, we're about to start to decay. The orbit will decay very soon as we start to enter Kerbin's atmosphere. Um, and we've got to really swing, swing this thing around because we're going to belly flop re-entry if we stay like that. So swing it around like that. I think we're going to need to be about that when we actually get to re-entry, so that should be okay. What's he got to see? Nothing, just space. SPACE! He doesn't even get to see the sun, are you kidding me? What a shit you! Seriously, we've got the better job here. Alright, so it's actually gonna miss, it looks like, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick fix burn. Just like that. In fact, I can just afford to leave that on if need be, let's just extend that out quite a bit. Because it's going to change a lot once we start to re-enter and slow right down. We're going to lose all of our pace. So, Kerbal HQ is up here. Just on the horizon now. 
So yeah, let's just hope that it works. <laughs> I've never, I've, to be honest, every time I get something into orbit, I leave it there. So this is a first for me if I can get this to re-enter and be relatively close to launch pad. That's the plan anyway. Um, so yeah, let's do a bit more speedage two times. Oh, that wasn't the, uh, that wasn't it. It's not even on the horizon yet, apparently. Okay. Okay, so there is the end of our limit because we are now re-entering, I believe. So our warp is limited now, but we're just gonna boost a bit and swing that back out again. Okay. I'm not sure how this thing's gonna pilot in uh, the atmosphere, so that'll be interesting. Let's go to zoom, 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 zoom. Um, as you can see, that's starting to creep backwards towards the base, but that's fine, because we're going to re-enter now, so I'm going to pitch the nose down, so that we come through nice, ooh shit, we're missing, we're missing a lot, let's stop boosting, uh, let's go up, and full thrust, just to try and increase that again, because I really don't want to fall short here, we've gone all this way, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen correctly. Okay. Now that looks like a promising... Oh, we're re-entering. Uh, pitch the nose down. Look at that. Oh, sick spectacles for Kerbals as they freaking plummet towards Earth. That's so cool. That is so cool. This game is so cool, guys. This game is so cool. Holy crap. This might end up being a thumbnail. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because that just looks so cool. Look at him! He's so happy! It's like he's unaware that he's probably going to die here. Oh yeah, see I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Um, let's just swing around while re-entering. It's really not liking it, but who cares? It's not like it's going to blow up or something. Because we're not going to make it over that mountain range actually. That is becoming extremely apparent. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm not that good. I'm not that good. Not that good. Oh well, it's, I'm not delaying the inevitable. As long as, as long as we make it onto land, um, I guess they can go across the, across the continent and get the vehicle. Let's just let it plop down. Let it do what it wants to do. We Okay. Um, I think we can afford to let go of our... Uh, oof. Just like that, and everything just this is just the, this is the most rela relaxing part, really, just plummeting toward the earth with no parachute activated yet. Um, we are just you know, we're over the top of land now, so we can afford to plop down um, and just head down. So that's it. So let's zoom down, wait till it decreased to about 150 meters per second, and parachute. Just like that. And kaboom! Oh, the parachute broke. He doesn't die, let's turn on SAS. Well, Jebediah, congratulations, you're the very first person in space. There you go, there it is, first man in space. First man not to die in space as well. <laughs> He's not exactly gonna die. Ready, Jebediah? Now is the times, this is those times, three, two, one. It's like he's unaware that he's probably gonna die here. Well done. Uh, I think that's because I was boosting, so, um, Ooh, sorry. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I've already killed him. I honestly cannot believe that. I am so disappointed in myself. When was the last quick save? Uh, there wasn't a, there is no quick save, so yeah. On this desert island, not too far away from Kerbal Kerbal HQ, uh, we lost a fine lost a fine Kerbal. So, oh well, he had a he had a he had a, he had a good run. He had a good run. I mean, 
when you're developing a space program, there is expectancy for Kerbals to die. It is, it is a fact that people are going to die. So before our next mission, we'll have to recruit somebody at the astronaut complex and complete the next task, which I'm not sure what it will be because I have forgotten. So uh, yeah, until then, I hope you enjoyed episode two and maybe three of Kerbal Space Program. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.